Today's episode of Filmmaker U is brought to you by our sponsors, OWC. Go to owcdigital.com for all your filmmaking and computer needs. And it's also brought to you by our other sponsors, AJA. Make sure to check out AJA.com so that you can see how they can help you in your post-production needs. Hi, I'm Gordon Burkell from Filmmaker U. At Filmmaker U, we create film courses for film professionals to deepen and diversify your existing skill set. You can learn more at filmmakeru.com or, of course, follow us on Twitter at filmmaker underscore you. Every week we interview film professionals to discuss their work, and this week I'm joined by editor Nam Nayang, uh, whose work includes The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, Crying Fist, and most recently the Netflix show Squid Games, just to name a few. Translating for us today will be Ran Ha. Welcome to the show, both you, Ran, and uh, uh, Nam uh, Nayang. Uh, Thank you for having me. I guess I, I do want to ask, um, and this is more of a selfish question for me, but... Uh, how did you get involved with the good, the bad, and the weird? Because that is a film that not many people in North America will know about, but it's a great uh, Korean film um, that I think pe more people should know about. Well, I got a call from the studio at first. I actually watched a lot of Kim Ji Yoon director's work in the past, but I didn't have a chance to work with him before. But I, well, with an opportune opportunity, I was able to get a call from the studio and you know join with the director and had discussions with him and started working on the film. Okay. Well, I'd I'd love to jump to Squid Games. Um, I guess when you. When you first get a script like this, how do you like to break it down? Do you make notes on it? Or how do you sort of first approach the project uh, when you get the script? So in fact, the way I start working would be different for different directors. In the case of Squid Game, uh, the script was almost ready when I joined the project. So I was able to receive the almost finished pro uh, script. And I read the script and I was able to just share the feelings that I had reading the script. And if there were some areas that I was not able to understand, his intentions then I asked questions to him so we got some conversations going I would say that the working process that's the earlier phase is quite different for different directors now would you when you got the script like how much changed from the script to the footage that came in for your your rough cut or sorry, for your, uh, the Russia's of the dailies. Well, there was no no big change to from the script to the final version. Well, I actually did editing mostly according to the script, but there were some cases where I had to edit the orders of scenes so that it would be increasing the tension of the drama. And since the running time of the series is quite long, I had to make some adjustment according to that too. So in terms of building tension, um, you know, when you get these rushes in, um, a lot of it's going to rely on performance but and the script and different elements. So how do you like to craft a scene that has um, tension or suspense in it? Or how do you like to approach it, I guess would be a better way of asking. When I approach the scenes with a high level of tension, I would first analyze the content of the scene, whether it is focusing more on the events, whether it is more focused on the emotions of the characters, I make a judgment around that, and then I would add it accordingly. And when there is a scene that the emotion should be highlighted, then I would just follow the emotional arc of the character and probably have more uh, shots with the close-ups of the actor. So the performance of the actor would be more you know, important in these cases. And in Squid Game as well, depending on each scene, I decided whether it is more focused on the event or the um, character. Now, in in uh, like when I was going through your your resume, a lot of your work is on uh, in feature films, um, and Squid Game is uh, a, a television series or a streaming ser series. Was um, was there something you learned from your experience on feature film that you took into? Uh, editing this for Netflix or is there something new that you learned while you were working on this? Well, I did work in a lot of feature films in the past, so I didn't really have a lot of chances to work on a series, but director Huang of Sweet Game, you know, used to direct a lot of the feature films himself, so I was able to work on this project because he asked me out. And well, what I learned doing the series this time was that the film actually has a fixed running time because it will be shown in the theater, and it's mostly two hours, and because the story has to be told within the two-hour time frame, it has to be quite you know compact but for a series it, well for a squid game it was nine episodes long so it has to be more detail focused 
focused. And I would say that there are some, you know, good aspects and, you know, two um, types of artwork. I would, uh, for example, for the film, I mean, it is shorter and you have to actually, you know, create some entertainment out of that fixed short time frame. And for a series, you can actually approach it with a more relaxed manner and be more sophisticated because you have more time to uh, maneuver. So I am planning to work on more series in my future, you know, works as long as the films. I guess when when I talk to other uh, Korean um, uh, editors, uh, they talked about on feature films having uh, on set editors. Was that something similar that uh, occurred for Squid Games? And uh, I guess could you explain what you receive from the on set editor if it, if it is the same? Are we referring to a person who is doing a rougher um, preliminary editing job? Yeah, like when it just like um, when I talked to uh, the editor of Parasite, they talked about how in Korea they'll have someone on set cutting the scenes so that the director can see them as as it's going. Um, and then that gets handed off to the editor. So I was wondering if that was the same for Squid Game. Onset editor in Korea is actually a role that is playing partly the role of the scripter. And in the cases of the feature film where the VFX is quite heavily used, then you can actually do a onset editing and you can actually see the feel of it quite e mm -hmm. easily on the set. And in Squid Game, we also had an onset editor and there are different directors wanting different you know, things from the onset editor you know what well the director might think have a lot of his or her thoughts you know infused into the onset editing or there would be other cases where the you know onset editor would be just doing the onset editor's jobs on their own in the case of squid game well it was the first time for director Huang to work on a series so he didn't have enough time to give too much opinions on the onset edited version so the onset editor editor actually sent me the version that he or she created their se themselves. And I, but I didn't really look at it to do my editing job. The onset editing version was used only to make a conversation with the director. Um, now, earlier you talked about moving scenes around in Squid Game to build more tension. Um, what were some of the, the changes that uh, were made or what scenes were moved around to, to help build that tension? Well, the, there is a sequence in the Glass Stepping Stones game. There are three events that are happening in parallel. The Glass Stepping Stones game is ongoing and the VIPs are looking at the Glass Stepping Stones game and the police, who is the sibling to the mask manager, is actually you know going on his own adventure too. So all these three events are happening at the same time and it can easily be too slow for the audience so I had to make a lot of changes in terms of the order of the scene so that it will be still, you know, fast, fast paced. So in that sequence, the orders have been changed a lot. And there is a particular sequence where the identity of the masked man, the mask manager is revealed. That is a sequence that goes from the anatomy lab scene to the escape scene to the revelation scene. And that sequence also had a lot of changes in it so that it would have the right level of tension. Now, is there a particular scene or moment in the series that was uh, difficult to edit, but you're really happy with the way it came out? Well, I would say that there are challenges in all the projects that I take on, so I don't really have any particularly you know, difficult moment or memory that I can recall from Squid Game, but I would say that every moment of it was so challenging, so I don't really have any specific moment to tell you. I do have a question, and this is more of a personal question for me. You started out as a negative cutter. How do you keep, how, because basically a negative cutter is destroying part of the film to assemble it. So um, how do you get over the stress of that? <laughs> because it seems like probably 
one of the most stressful jobs in the film industry. Well, that is true. And there are side effects of having that job. Well, I would say when you have a lot of stress, then you have to eat something, you know, good and, you know, go out and hang out with your friends, you know, listen to good music, go to a club and, and you know, so that you will have some relief. Okay. Um, I have one last question for you. Uh, we've been stuck in this pandemic for two, over two years now. Uh, depending on where you are in the world, you're locked indoors or you're under quarantine. Um, is there a show or a movie you've discovered in the last two years that people should check out other than Squid Game? Well, I actually pondered upon this last question during the course of my entire interview. And well, during the pandemic, I had to work tirelessly. Uh, so and I didn't really have much time to go to theater. So I didn't, really didn't watch so much you know, content. But recently, I enjoyed watching Succession, the series. I absolutely loved it. And in Korean um, content world, I would say the, the series that is streaming on Netflix that when I loved it and uh, as for the movies I would say that I am revisiting a lot of the old movies you know what re-watching the ones that I like and when you re-watch an old movie in 10 20 years time you actually feel some different things so I absolutely like doing that too and I also watch some variety shows as well well thank you so much for letting me interview you today and thank you for translating for us Thank you. Uh, and that's it for this week. Make sure to check us out at filmmakeru.com. And of course, follow us on Twitter at filmmaker underscore you. I'm Gordon Burkell. Thanks for watching. Today's episode of Filmmaker U is brought to you by our sponsors, OWC. Go to owcdigital.com for all your filmmaking and computer needs. And it's also brought to you by our other sponsors, AJA. Make sure to check out AJA.com so that you can see how they can help you in your post-production needs.